Today I'm going to show you how to assemble and make one of these bad boys. It is a leather beer carrier. You can say beverage holder if you want. Most likely it's for beer. But here you go. Uh, six pack. It fits bottles. And of course if you want to uh, a bit more snugly it also fits cans. Uh, quite a nice item. Of course if you want to take your beer someplace uh, and drink it there. It is very good for that. Also, it actually makes a nice decoration at home. At least I think so. Uh, the wife maybe does not. I like it. This is how you do it. Now, these are all the parts that you need to make your beer carrier. Um, I am not going to go into detail about what kind of leather you need or what the measurements are of the length of the straps or where to place your holes uh, because those are already in my uh, pattern and instructions on Etsy. Uh, anyways, this is the middle part. Uh, these are the sides, two of them, and this is the actual handle. Uh, to make this, it is the easiest way to do it is to start with the middle, because then we're going to add on to that with the two sides. So let's take this and take the rest out. Now this is going to make up the middle part. It is this part right here only this and you see the long strap over here is going to turn into this bit right here that is going to make up the center of the strap uh, or the beer carrier. These short straps are going to be these ones, the circles that hold the, uh, the beer bottle or the beer can. So to make this we need to add rivets to all these holes. We want these four holes to have the longer type of rivets, rivets that is described in the uh, instructions. And these two ones are going to be the shorter ones. Now that our rivets, rivets are put into the correct uh, holes, we can just take the small straps and put them with the middle hole in on the short rivets on the sides, like this. Now that we have this shape, what we then want to do, ah, yeah, there we go. What we then want to do is take the strap with the small ones and fold it over like this, okay? Because then we can see that we're starting to get what is going to become the beer holder. So because we're adding basically three layers of leather on top of each other, we need the long rivets right here. So just fold that over, pop it in and take the other side as well. Now when you do this you really want to make sure that you are putting the same edge onto the leather so that it looks the same when you do it like this. Uh, because otherwise it's going to look silly when you are putting it together if for example you do it like uh, this all looks let me see so this all looks the same, like so, but if you had this on the other side, so that you have this one under, it is going to look a bit silly, because they're not the same. So make sure that you do that. Uh, now, when you put these all together, you can just take your end caps for the rivets, pop those on, and rivet the, the middle part shut. Now you should have something that looks like this. Uh, the middle part has now been riveted together on the front and on the back where you have the long rivets. Uh, since this is going to be the middle part, you need to add rivets from the inside poking out like so. And now then we're going to add the sides onto the middle. But now you're done with this one. Good job. Now, to make the sides of the beer carrier, you need one of the longer straps and two of these side straps. Now, before you put it together, and if you have a maker's mark, it is a good idea to do it now. Uh, because otherwise, it is going to be difficult to do it when it's all put together. Now, when we have it laid out like this, we need to add the rivets. We need to add one rivet for every single hole on this long strap down here. And we need to add rivets to the end holes of these shorter ones. There! 
Now that we have added the rivets, like I said, one rivet for each hole on the longer strap and one rivet at the ends on the shorter stra straps, we need to start putting it together. Now on the shorter straps, these ones, we have one, two, three, four, five holes and then the middle and we have five holes again. What you, what you need to do is take this rivet and fold it back so that it goes into the f fifth hole like so. There we go. And do the same on the other side. First rivet into the fifth hole so that we have something that looks like a pair of glasses. Do the same for the other strap. And to make it really easy when you put this together, you might want to rivet these glasses straps closed because otherwise they may open when you put it together and that's just going to be annoying. So we'll rivet these closed together right now and then we can put them together so that we'll have one complete side of the beer carrier. Okay, there we go. Now these are, are riveted together so that they can come off when we assemble this side of the beer carrier. Uh, make sure that if you have a maker's mark that you have it on the correct side up and down uh, because what we want to do now is take this middle piece or the uh, the what's it called vertical yeah vertical piece uh, and what we're basically going to do is assemble the side like this so this is going to be the side of the beer carrier and we're going to add those two glass straps onto it like this. So this is going to be one loop that goes in here and the other loop is going to go over there. Uh, let me just show you to, uh, to make it clear what I mean. So here we have the one with the maker's mark. We want it to be like this. And then we take the bottom of the rivets and we put it into the one over here. And now we can then take the rest of the strap and pull it through like this. We add this rivet into the hole over here. So just push that through. And now we can guess to see what we're going to do with that one. So take this one and push the strap through like that. We have this rivet going in here in this hole, this rivet in that hole, and there we have one of the sides to this piece. Pull this through so that we have these two rivets going into these two holes like so. And the final piece going in like this. And there we go. Now we can just take these rivets and close them up and then we have one final piece of the beer carrier side. There we go. So now it is time for the final assembly. Uh, we're going to start with the middle and we have the rivets uh, in the center holes all pushed in. You can see them all, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Okay. And what we're going to do is hold the middle closed like this and then just add on one side and push it through the holes like so. Put on the end caps and then rivet it closed. Then we'll do the same on the other side. Now, two thirds are assembled. I riveted the beer carrier closed in the middle, and now we're going to do the same on the other side. So just pop these rivets in and close them up, 
so that we have the main body of the beer carrier all done. Now that the beer carrier is all riveted together, all three sides, uh, we just need to add the handle. And to do that, we'll take the handle strap that we have and push two rivets, both sides, in from the front of the leather, not the flesh side. Uh, then the point is that they're going to be folded over like this to make the handle. So just push the ends in, close them up, rivet that closed, and then you're done. And that is it. That is a completed leather beer carrier, six pack, soda carrier, whatever. Uh, now, if you want to make one of these yourself, uh, it is a quite a simple project. All you need is some leather, rivets, a hole punch, and a few other tools that I mentioned in the PDF files with the patterns and the instructions uh, on my Etsy shop. Uh, I'm going to post a link to my Etsy down below so you can see this pattern and some other cool stuff that you can make with leather. Uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day.